Secretary General of the Namibia Wholesale and Retail Workers Union, Victor Hamunyala, called the Minister of Labor, Erki Nimtima, boring for not doing enough for workers in Namibia. The Minister of Labor is very boring. And it's because of this boredness that the workers in this country are suffering. Other ministers are raising issues that affect their operations. Our minister sits in parliament as if he's just an ob uh, observer. Open all the national radios in this country. The second caller complains about labor. It goes unabided, and to them, at Mercedes Street, it's, it's like there are no issues. Companies have stopped union deduction without following such provisions. We have listed them up and we have also indicated who is consulting for them. The material meaning of stopping this union deduction to us <coughs> is to kill the union's operations, advance exploitation, and avoid union representation during wage negotiations and so forth. Hamunyala said that he's tired of employees being deprived of their human rights. Some people feel when you mention statements to say whites, for example, then they run to a word reconciliation. They can take me to court today. Reconciliation in this country is required from blacks and not required from the whites. Because if you see what, is, what the whites are doing to the blacks in this country, you will think they were not here when the reconciliation was announced by the former president. And when you say a little thing of the whites, then they want to make it a big thing. But when they are killing people, thinking they are baboons, as they are saying, we blacks, because of the reconciliation that, we, we, that was put on our, on our eyes, we allow this situation to continue and happens the way that it has happened. It's against this background that we are saying we can no longer allow a group of a minority of this country to continue keeping our people to swim in pools of poverty and, and take all the money into their pockets. The Namibia Wholesale and Retail Workers Union has issued an ultimatum to these companies to stop deducting union fees by not later than the 31st of August this year. Failure to abide by this will lead to an international boycott starting on the 1st of September this year. For Today on One, I'm Isai Sipunga.